Hey everybody, welcome to Detour Ahead. I'm Riley. Here's Alex. What up? Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit of a weird one. Uh, we are here. Uh, you you may notice the show is late. Uh, we we are here. Uh, the night that it was supposed to come out. This is Wednesday night. You're, we're coming to you live. Uh, not live at all, but live from Wednesday night. Uh, and there was there was some goofing. There was there was there was some some sticky uh, situations. Uh, I showed up to the show in just like a weird state. Uh, I <laughs> I was it, it, it was just real weird. Uh, so uh, what we did is uh, we had a guest, uh, the great Robin, uh, return to us. Uh, so we kept a part at the end uh, where Alex and Robin had a conversation. I had fallen asleep by this point. So that, that gives you a window into the type of state I was in. <laughs> and uh, so that's that, that's it. That's what we salvaged from this from this shit show. <laughs> I will, I will say I'm, I'm here as well because I didn't say anything. Uh, I will say it is a very good conversation. Hopefully, I cut it correctly, cause the, it it's been it it's editing sucks. Let's just put it that way. Editing is terrible, and I hate editing. But I do hope whoever decides to listen to this episode uh, enjoys the talk that the conversation that I had with Robin, because it is very good. It's very like. Once I got Robin like talking, it's a very very good conversation. It it's great. I love it, which is why we decided to not just re record a brand new episode and just scrap that one, because I didn't want to shaft Robin. Robin is a great guest. I'm so glad that we had her back after like we need a we need another update in the in the Robin Smut saga. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear, yeah, I did hear the ongoing that storyline. <laughs> I did hear that that happened on the MoCast as well. That's why she didn't want to bring it up, and I think she explains that on the show that you're gonna hear after we're done here. Uh, this is, did you say, yeah, this is uh, future Riley and future Alex. Hi. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I already explained. We're gonna take you back to the past here in just a moment. Uh, to listen to the hopefully not shitty podcast that hopefully don't suck ass. Uh, it's, <laughs> it'll be a good time. Definitely, it'll be a good time. Uh, Riley, what's what's your link tree? Because I definitely didn't plug it at the end, and I don't want to edit it. <laughs> it it's linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. You can find it in the description. You can find it on my Twitter, at Riley Tweets, in the pinned tweet. Uh, there's stuff there. It's cool, you know. You've heard about it. And then if you're not already listening on the YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Kolochu. You can listen to all the episodes that we've put out on there as well as Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, and then that's it. Uh, there you go. There you go. Thank you for your continued support. This support I, I hope... Patreon.com slash Detour Ahead. Patreon.com slash Detour Ahead. I hope you guys continue listening after this fuck up. Uh, I hope this won't happen again. Yeah, it 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 won't. At least on my end. I don't I don't know if Alex is gonna have a similar episode at some point, but uh, I will I will take steps to ensure that it doesn't happen in the future on my end. I'm not I'm not promising not to fall asleep on the show again, but I will promise to not be a complete fucking idiot <laughs> while I'm awake. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It'll happen again. It'll happen again. It but will happen again. Everybody. Future Alex and future Riley will be there to guide you onto the part that's actually <laughs> listenable. So <laughs> hopefully this doesn't happen again anytime soon. Hey, we made it a full year without having any fuck ups on the podcast. So I think that's a that's a win for us. So. Hell yeah. What's something that you like to do? What's something that you like? If you could not make, not make, makes not. If you could tell someone about something that you like, what would it be? What would, like, something that you want someone to get into that you think they would like? I mean, it's always. I probably have, like, undiagnosed ADHD or something. 
Yeah, but I, I, so I feel what's like the I go current like hyperfixation then. Yeah, I mean, it's been smut. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about that or no? Yeah, oh yeah, I've I've been talking about it on the mocats a bunch. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. What about it? What about it makes a hyper makes it a hyperfixation right now? Well, I've bought a bunch of books. Oh, so like okay. I have physical books. Well, it helps that um uh, like my best friend is also reading them. So, are you talking like 50 shades kind of or like dirtier? Uh how how dirty is 50 shades? I don't know. I didn't read it. That's I, fair. I got I got like I didn't read it. I got like halfway through the movie. I got like a quarter of the way through the movie. And then they're just like I I don't know. It was weird. I didn't like it. Oh, shit. This might actually interest you. We talked about this on uh the episode Space. Hold on. Let me pull this up real quick. It, I have a bookmark just in just in case. Where is it? Uh have you heard of the artist Hunter Fox? The author? The author. What have they written? Lo- lots of lots of uh gay fiction. Oh. Lot like, lots. Like MLM. Uh there's one called A Billion A Billionaire Dinosaur Forced to Me Gay by Hunter Fox. Uh do 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 My Gay Sabretooth Lover. <laughs> I don't know. Like there's one Ravaged by a Unicorn. I emailed this dude and he never emailed me back and I'm kind of salty because I want to bring him on the show. Yeah, I emailed the author. I was like, dude, I read one of your books and it's great. Can you come on the podcast? I would love to do an interview. And he he never responded to me. He's on Amazon. You can get you can get his books for like two ninety nine on a Kindle. I don't know if he has paper copies. or Anyway, I completely took away from your. From oh, yeah, I'm, I'm reading like. Ro- uh, like romanticy type stuff, but yeah, I mean it will have like full, explicit scenes. Okay, what's your favorite one so far? What was the best one that you read? Well, we haven't read a lot yet, but uh, we've read the first three books in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me write this down. Write this down, Bruh. Bruh, Google, you gotta stop fucking listening to me, man. Fuck, Google, you need to stop. <laughs> Alright, so you said A Court of Thorns and Roses, correct? Yes, by Sarah so J. Mass. So I typed out in Google, on my computer, A Court Space. And the first result that they want me to look up is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Fuck Hell yeah. Off. Fuck off. All right, hold on. It's it's very popular. All right. All right, you I you may have saved the show with this one. All right. How did I save the show with this one? Let me because I am I love talking about stuff like this, which is why we had an entire episode about gay billionaire dinosaurs. Oh hell yeah. All oh, right. Let's see. Can, can I read this? Yeah. Do you mind if I read the uh the summary or do you want to talk yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, this is the summary on uh, Amazon that I'm reading, just so you just so you're aware. Okay. When 19-year-old Huntress, how do you say her name? Feyre? Feyre? Feyre, yeah. Feyre kills a wolf wolf in the woods. A beast-like creature arrives to demand retribution for it. Dragged to a treacherous magical land she only knows for, about from legends. Feyre Discovers Feyre? that Feyre? Feyre. Is that right? Feyre? Yeah, like Feyre. A, with an a? I've said her name so much, it's just in there. Yeah, it's, it's pronounced Feyre. Okay, Feyre discovers that her captor is not an animal, but Tamlin, one of the lethal immortal fairies who once ruled their world. As she dwells on his estate, her feelings for Tamlin... Transform from icy hostility into a fiery passion that burns through every lie and warning she's been told about the beautiful, dangerous world of the Fae. But an ancient, wicked shadow over the fairy lands is growing, 
and Feyre must find a way to stop it or doom Tamlin and his world forever. Dude, that sounds interesting. I'm sorry, yeah, the... I called you dude a couple of times. I hope that's not like... Oh, yeah. I... I'm sorry. Dude's gender neutral. All right, fight me. Thank you. Thank you. Fight I've me, people. I've had multiple arguments over this. Dude is gender neutral. Is, have you had multiple fights over this with Demi Gloom? Because that sounds like a Demi Gloom fight. Demi. Not Demi. Not Demi. Okay. Demi, Not Demi, Demi won't fight that hill. Okay. Demi and That's I are it. on good terms. Like 80% good terms. 75. This sounds like a re. Oh my god, it's an audiobook? There is an audiobook, yeah. My, my friend has been sometimes listening to it while like working out. Uh, it's written by Sarah J. Mass, M A S yep. M A A S. Uh, the narrator is Jennifer Ikeda. Ikeda? 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 For what? The narrator. Oh, I have no idea. I, have, I haven't listened to the audiobook. 4.6 stars? At, wow. It's number 11 on the Amazon charts as well. This is a very popular book. God damn! They put the listening length here? How long did it take you to read the first book? Do you know? Um, let me see. I don't know when we technically started. Let me check. We have a book club channel in our Discord. The book. That's fucking cool. I want to get back into books. Yeah, just the homies talking about smut. I think it took us a month? Two months? No, it took us longer than that. So the listening length for the audiobook is 16 hours and 7 minutes. Yeah. I I mean, we were slow as fuck with the first book. But like the second book we blazed through and then the third one because we have like a we we've picked a reading order for we're we're reading all of Sarah J Mass's books. That's our, what other that's books our goal. do you have? Let's go to Yeah, so right now we're reading so we read the first three A Court of Thrones and Roses books. Okay. And now we've switched to we're gonna read all of Throne of Glass, which is her completed series. Throne of Glass. I'm not seeing it on here. There it is. Yeah, which is not I've been told by so one of my friends has blasted ahead of us uh, in reading because he hates us and he's an asshole. Okay. Um, but we're still like on the third book in Throne of Glass. He's on the last book, if if he hasn't finished it yet. And uh, I've been oh, told there's there multiple is some... books to this. This is book one that I'm looking at. Yes. Oh, same with the Court uh, Court of Thrones and Roses. If you didn't figure that out, there's five books. Oh no, I saw that. I yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what okay. I was reading from the first one. I made sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, shit, where was I? Uh, so we're so we're reading Throne of Glass. I've, it's not really smutty, but I've been told there is there is some smut later. But like, I think it's like in the sixth book or something. Okay. So I'm assuming you're like trying to get to it. You're to like you're you're interested. You're like captivated now. Yeah, so our friend that's on the last book is like, oh my god, the world building's so good, and then me and my best friend are like, where's the sex? <laughs> the world building's good, but also like, come on. Where the, where's the sex at? I'm gonna read the uh, the summary for the book one. Yeah, yeah, go for it. In a land without magic, an assassin is summoned to the castle. She has no love for the vicious king who rules from his throne of glass. But she has, co- she has not come to kill him. She has come to win her freedom. If she defeats 23... <laughs> if she just... Very specific. If she defeats 23 murderers, thieves, and warriors in a competition, she will be released from prison to serve as the king's champion. Her name is Selena Sardo- Sardothian. Sardothian. Yeah. I got that. I got that name. Oh, yeah, you got it. You I ain't gonna it. fuck it up like the last one. The crown prince will provoke her. The captain of the guard will protect her. And a princess from a faraway country will befriend her. But something rotten dwells in the castle, and it's there to kill. When her competitors start dying mysteriously one by one, Selena's fight for freedom becomes a fight for survival and a desperate quest to root out the evil before it destroys her world. 
That's dude, bro. These sound so good. Yeah, the world building's very good. I, I, I do know once that. I get paid again, or maybe for like Christmas or something, because I'm cheap and I just ask my parents to buy me shit. Uh, have you ever? It's not smut. I I like the teen fiction, like vampires and shit. The like stuff young that adult? was, yeah, young adult teen fiction. The the shit that was popular in like the late two thousands, early twenty ten. Not like the stuff that was inspired by twilight the twilight era i didn't watch twilight by the way anyway have you heard of uh a book series called uh house of night by Kristen cast i don't think so well i know i've read mark that's the first book i might have read the second one but it's like 200 bucks for the hardcover of all 12 books and i kind of want to get it because if i go and spend that kind of money then I'm going to feel obligated to go and read the books. Yeah, I've spent like 250 bucks so far in this whole endeavor. <laughs> that's that's fucking wild. Okay. I bought Throne of why Glass was bring, like 100. Why didn't you bring smut smut books up for our topic? We could have saved like cuz I feel like Riley would have been fucking bored of it. I didn't realize he was going to fall asleep and then it would just be you and me. Riley I'm keeps hearing about it on the mocast. That's all I fucking talk about. We haven't had a dull moment since you brought this up. I love this. This also gives me something to do and like look up, and I'm not sitting here grasping at straws asking you what your fucking co- favorite color is. I thought Riley was going to be here, and I knew Riley didn't want to hear about it again. <laughs> well, he's not here, and I haven't heard about it, so that's what we're talking about. That's the topic for today. Anyway, these sound really interesting. Yeah, they are super good. And this, the smut in the first three books is really good, of uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. But yeah, our reading order is we're doing the first three books of a Court of Thorns and Roses. Then we're reading all of Throne of Glass. Then we're going back and reading the last two books of uh, Court, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And then finally we're going to read Crescent City, which I've heard is the spiciest. Like, the Ooh. most sex. Okay, okay. Because yeah. apparently, for some reason, you have to read all the other books before you can read Crescent City. So I'm like, is there going to be like an Avengers Assemble moment? Like, what, so what is happening? Is this, this is um, just straight smut, right? For lack of a better term that I can't think of. What do you mean by that? Okay, it's woman and man. Right? Or am I yes. wrong? Okay. At least so far. Okay. Look, but yes, the, the main I'm, I'm characters old. are women. I, I, I've explained this to Demi Gloom a few times. I'm old, and I don't know the terminology to not offend people. So if I offend you, I apologize. No, 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 you're good. I don't know yeah. the terminology. I can't keep up with kids. I'm too Yeah, this old. is like, it's like straight. I, I, I'm like, yeah. I'm 26. All right. I thought I thought you meant like, is this? Like straight up smut. Like, is it just sex? That's no, what I, I'm not, I, didn't, I, meant, like, I didn't think you meant like straight. Yeah, I, I didn't realize you meant like yeah. This is more so just for context. Like man, man on man, woman on woman, woman on man. Yeah, it's it's mainly like main character, the woman, and then love interest, a man. Okay. Uh, have you read anything that's not by uh, Sarah Mass? For smut. Yeah. No, not really. We have a bunch of shit on our list. We have a huge fucking like Goodreads list ready to go. My friend and I have also planned out uh, getting matching tattoos <laughs> for about the book, about a quarter thorns and roses. Like we're fucking in it. That's that's so fucking cool. That's so that's great. Oh, this and and close. the reason it happened is um, she and I were having a conversation about like. Is there any good like enemies to lovers, like anime or anything? And I was like, it seems like there's a lot of good books. And so she bought A Court of Thorns and Roses, and she mentioned it at some point, like offhand. And then one day I was on Amazon and I was ordering like some supplements for myself, and I could get same day delivery, but I needed to like have more money in my cart for them to do that. Yep. And so I was just like. Hey, I just bought the book you were talking about. I'm also going to read it. So you have a whole book club? I've never talked to anybody who, like, has a book club. 
So like it's like that's a loose book so... club. Yeah, but it's a book club nonetheless. All right. Yeah. Like I have a podcast. I nobody listens, but it's still a podcast. Like you it started with me and her, then we got our other friend person, involved, and it's still. And a book now club. I think there's six people in the channel. So like, how does a book club work? So we're kind of all just like posting spoiler tagged Discord comments. Okay. So like me and my my friend are just like we're DMing each other because we're like on a similar pace. Yeah. But because everyone else is on a different pace. Okay, so everybody goes at their own pace, kind of? Yeah. Interesting. I've always thought of book... See, anytime I hear about book clubs, I think of, like, middle-aged women getting together. And they're like, we're gonna read ten chapters this week. Yeah, I know. But it's like... like, like A classic, like, Tupperware party in the 50s kind of deal? Yeah, no, we're all too ADHD for that shit. Yeah, I kind of figured. It's like, we're gonna read none of it, or we're gonna read, like, 30 chapters in a day. Like, that's, that's what's happening. But okay, so you guys are go. You guys go at your own pace. Have you been spoiled on anything yet? Um, not anything in this like Throne of Glass. I did. I did get spoiled on something in A Court of Thorns and Roses when I was reading it, which was sad. But like, I didn't realize I was upset for the wrong reasons. I didn't realize the direction the story was going to go, so it was still like surprising. Okay. Uh, are you already past that spoiler? Yeah, I'm well past it. What was the spoiler? Well, are you going to read it? <laughs> or do you just want me to say What's it? the spoiler? Alright, spoiler warning for book... You don't have two? to spoil it. You don't have to spoil I can guarantee you none of hey, our listeners... you never know. If, uh, the if, our, tamp- if, if one of the listeners DMs me on Twitter or anything... And says, I can't believe you spoiled that book for me. I'm never going to read again. I'll send you $30. Hell yeah. Listeners, you know what to do. You have to prove that you read the book. You have to prove that you read the book. And you have to prove that the spoiler was wrong. I want to see a fu- I want to see. Cite your sources. I want to see the book with the folded ear. Do, do <laughs> not fold the ears of your books, please. Dude, I, I hate that. I hate that so much. I use bookmarks. Do you use bookmarks? I do, yeah. What do you bookmark with? So I used to have just like an envelope full of bookmarks. Okay. Like hundreds of bookmarks. I don't know where the fuck I put that. So right now I'm just kind of using like a piece of thick paper. Because I don't know where the fuck I put. Yeah. Because I don't know where I put my bookmarks. Go buy some Pokemon cards, bro. Just get Pokemon cards. That's what I do. I use Pokemon cards for books. I mean, I do have Pokemon cards, but use Pokemon cards. Go find I, your. I like having a big piece of whatever. thick paper because I'll never misplace the bookmark. That's fair though, because like sometimes if you move the book, the Pokemon card falls in the middle and you can't find it. Yep. That that's or that's what happens fair. is I I take the bookmark out and then I just kind of like put the put it on the side. And, like, if it was a tiny thing like a Pokemon card, I'd probably just lose it. Okay. Okay. So, I think I might have already asked this question. How did you get into, like, like how did you guys start this? Like, how did you get into this in, originally? Well, that was it. Like, we, we, talked, uh, we talked about anime to lovers tropes in, like, anime. And we were like, Are there, is there anything good? And so I messaged... Uh, I messaged Trixie, and I was like, any good anime? And it was like all the shit I already knew about. And I was like, alright, yeah, fair. So I guess not. And then I started like down a Google rabbit hole, and I was like, there's a lot of books. And then she bought a book. Wait, wait, Trixie? Like, do I know this Trixie? Pro- probably. Golden, Golden Witch, Witch Trixie? Yeah. No, I want to get her on the show. I have a lot of questions for Trixie. Uh, she'll probably do it. Riley's she's sort too of, she's much sort of a busy. pussy. He's too much of a pussy to message Trixie, but I don't have a way of getting in contact with her. I mean, just Twitter. Her DMs, are, her DMs are closed. Open? No, oh, they're closed. They're... <laughs> no, they're. I have no. DMs I have no idea. To... I, I'm mutual. So her DMs are open to verified users, which is the default oh, setting. Yeah, that's weird. On Twitter now. I mean, her and Bird travel a lot, so I don't know when she has time to do a podcast, but... I mean, I will I will work around it. I don't care. She's usually down for that kind of stuff. 
So, as you know, I listen to all of the Dick Show. And I know I know you don't like I don't I know you don't like this, but uh I'm not a Dick Maston fan, yeah. So I, I I'm aware. I'm aware. I've been I've been clued in. But um I I literally since since I listened to binged every single episode so far, I'm at like 329 out of like 380. Some of the most interesting episodes were when Trixie was on and she was talking about her transition. And when that was going on, I literally stopped my work day, like stopped throughout the day and wrote on like, in my, like notes of like qu- future questions to ask her. Yeah, she has like very heady thoughts about everything, which is fun. I I I would love to do not just like talk. That's all I want to do. It's not even like a sit down. I want to interview you. It's more so just like a. I have questions. I want to know. I want to know what you like. I just I want to know because I'm still a baby. I don't. I haven't done anything. I haven't like no hormones or anything like that, but I, do I don't you know. It's job? just, it's, huh? Do you have a job? I yeah, see I you a do. Job. You're, tw- you're older than me, right? So, yeah, I have a job. Uh, you can do plume. That's what I do. What's that? It's, um, it's like an online, they'll, it's an online subscription service and they'll, they will give you hormones. Is it money? It, it you do have to pay money, yeah. Well, I, I mean, okay. That's, or do you mean like is it like your is it slang like is it good? <laughs> is that what you meant? It, no, no. When I say is it money, it's me being lazy is and just not and leaving out a lot of. Uh, it's a hundred bucks a month. Oh, that's a lot. But they cover your blood work with that hundred dollars a month. Uh, you can like always message your doctor, get appointments, etc. I don't want to talk to a fucking doc. I don't like doctors. I don't respect. It's so, it's like a literally a fifteen minute appointment, and then they give you hormones. So yeah, I pay a hundred bucks a month, and then every like three months, I I spend like another hundred on the meds because I use GoodRx and just get get them all discounted. That's smart. That's smart. I don't know. I'm still indecisive on that. I'm not sure if that's the path I want to go. I don't know. That's I have fair. a lot. They of can put you on a low dose as well to start with. They have like non-binary dosings, which is like a very low dose of. So, like, like the thing with me and this is, like, I identify as a girl. I present feminine 100% of the time, except work. But work is a whole other question. I don't really care. But, like, I'm, I was, I've never been, like, uncomfortable with myself. Does that make sense? Like, I never hated who I was. It's more so just I never had a chance to figure out who I was. Because I was on ADHD meds from second grade all the way through college. Mm -hmm. And the meds that I was on made me not have a personality. So when I finally got off them, I had a personality. Like I had feeling for the first time in over a decade and I didn't know what to do with it. So I still feel like I don't have a lot of personality or feeling. It's actually funny. I got off uh, the ADHD meds. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. I stopped taking them like a year or two before I started podcasting actually and, and mine's not even because of meds I just feel like I haven't just haven't grown in that way like I'm on hormones and everything but I don't like necessarily take extra effort to present feminine I try my best but I'm lazy too that's the I'm other so big thing I'm so fucking lazy like, and I'm ADHD fr- doesn't help like I have a two week like this is this is this is gonna sound blasphemous sacrilegious even i have a two i have like it's either one or two i think it's a one i have like i have a beard right now because i'm lazy I have because i don't do no this is like you can you can grip my but face. i also end up with beard some, sometimes like a lot of the time because <laughs> i just like I just i don't I'm, lazy. I'm probably gonna shave it tomorrow i don't know it's also like I, do you really want me to be fucked to shave my whole body Oh, fuck that's so that. much work. That's so much work. I've done it before a few times, but it's like, oh my god, it's just fucking horrible. It's it's terrible. It's, it's rough. like, oh, do you, I could spend half a day shaving my whole body, or I could like 
go play video wear games. Pants. Well, yeah, See, I mean, I wear pants do. anyway. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. No shorts. Just I've pants. never worn shorts. I've been shaking my, my legs really. in a while. It's not as bad as it used to get, though. No, I've Which never really worn shorts. Or skirts. I've not shaved my legs in like two or three weeks. It's noticeable, but like, it's not as bad as how it used to be when I was uh, younger. So. But no, uh, I just, I just, I would love to have like a full conversation with Trixie about this because uh, the way she described her transition and like how she found, fa- how she figured out that she was trans, the way she explained it on the Dick Show really like it literally was like future me talking to myself it's like, like pretty really, abstract right yeah but like everything she was talking about i really resonated with which is why i've been obsessed oh, yeah. with not obsessed but like literally that day i went and su- hunted down her twitter and i followed her and i'm like one of these days i'm gonna get the courage to ask her to come on my show my show is not even that big I, I don't I don't care. I just even if it's not even come on the show, it's literally just want to have a conversation. Well, so buy Twitter blue. Oh, I look, I have a whole I I have a whole list of people that I want to DM on Twitter that are all verified only to the point where I'm literally going to probably buy Twitter blue next paycheck and be like fuck this. I'm just going to go send out 45 DMs to everybody. Yeah, that's that's the easiest move. If if it's like verified DMs. Yeah, if they want verified DMs, I'll go give Elon Musk my money. Yeah, it's weird because I feel like everyone who's in this podcast space, like I don't know how how you ended up here because you also um, like a Dick fan, right? No, I wasn't. I uh, I just I found out about Dick Masterson back at the end of July. Riley so and you, I did, did this you have thing. like a friend who Riley? Ah, okay. Um, but like the way I got into this podcast, this group was through Riley. I, I used to work at a rec center and I would open, I would open up the pools in the morning. So we were allowed to have our phones with us, but not like on our person because it's a distraction. Right. But we were allowed to listen to like podcasts and stuff so we could have it like behind us or whatever. So, like, I would be listening to, like, morning radio and stuff like that, and someone's like, why don't you check out podcasts? I'm like, what the fuck are podcasts? This was back in, like, the end of 2017, uh, maybe 2018, I think. And I, so I start, so I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell, I don't know what kind of podcasts are out there. They're like, well, what do you like? And I'm like, Pokemon? They're like, look up Pokemon podcasts. Holy shit. I, I look up Pokemon podcasts, and I find uh poke science and i was like oh this is pretty cool i've i binged that real all real quick so i start looking for other ones and i find pokemon variety hour and from pokemon variety hour i moved to pixels polygons and fun and then from there i really liked what they were doing what riley Jinji, and penguin were doing so i decided to uh so i just randomly hopped into the ppaf uh, their Discord channel, and then I suggested they do an episode on Portal, and they completely fucked it up. And then, literally, like a week or two later, Riley ran out. Everybody was gone except for Riley, and Riley invited me on. That happens it was to Riley like, a lot. It feels like, huh? I feel like that happens to Riley a lot. Eh, I mean, but like him and I had like DMs a little bit back and forth but like i was like it was like starstruck a little bit when i first went on i didn't because like when you listen to someone even if it's just like a small time podcast you're just like i don't know if i can message them it's like it's like they're in like a whole other world i don't actually know this person yeah (laughs) like but him and i had uh we had dms and then he invited me on to do a led and then he asked me what i wanted to talk about and i decided legend legend of zelda and that's and then literally it got cut out in editing but halfway through the legend of zelda episode that i did on ppaf uh riley literally stops mid conversation and goes do you want to be our third co-host i would love for the chemistry here is great i would love to have you on and that's how i started my podcast career well that's 
actually wild. crazy how you it's got wild. here. Yeah. And then, like, take a couple stepping stones, and here I am. I have my own podcast, and Riley's here with me, and it's great. And we've been doing this for over a year. I think we've been officially weekly since February, too. Like, we, have, we haven't missed a week since February. I know we missed a couple in January, but I know we've been consistently weekly since February. Well, at least you have. Yeah, he, he showed up for the beginning, so this still counts. Yeah, he's technically still here. He's still technically here. He's not going to show up until... He'll wake up to plug. I know he'll wake up to plug. How, what are we at, by the way? I don't know. He usually stops you, right? Yeah, I don't know how to fucking stop it. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, that's beyond me. We just have to wait for him to wake up. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay, so you you completely opened the floodgates. Thank you for reviving this pot, this episode. This episode has been great. I might have our entire conversation before this cut out. We'll see. Just because it's low and boring. We'll see how long of- we go as well. <laughs> Well, we're at two hours total right now, so, because we started at 8.30 and it's 10.30. Holy shit. But we can probably wrap up if you want, if if you want to. I, I don't mind, whatever you want to do, because I'm sure you're going to be doing a lot of cutting, so. I don't edit, Riley edits. Oh, so he's probably just going to not do anything. No, he's just going to use the robot that cuts all the silence out, so. But we'll see. Oh, the silence is, like, part of it, though. Yeah, that's Nobody's gonna realize how uncomfortable that start was with Riley. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he does. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. If he gets it to me time. Anyway, thank you, everybody, so much for listening to another thrilling episode of Detour Ahead. Robin, do you have anything you'd like to plug? No, I've gone based in the plugless these days. You want to plug the MoCast? Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, because Riley's not here. He's, he's not going to do it. Well, I mean, you're on the MoCast, too. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck you find us. That's a good question. I'm sure it's anywhere podcasts are found. I mean, I can probably go on Spotify and find MoCast, right? Maybe. I know we're on Twitter at the underscore MoCast. I know we exist there. Let's load up Spotify real quick. Do, 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 do. I, I, Riley does all that, so I'm I'm just I just kind of show up. I'm just there. No, it's not that. No, it's there. Yeah, it's on Spotify. The MoCast. The Although MoCast. Our, our recording days, I definitely. It's just hard for me to show up lately. I end up I end up busy. So I want to say like every other episode, I'm just not there. For the past little while, but you know. Do you have Twitter? Do you want to plug Twitter or no? No, I got I got nothing really. You cannot find me. Except on the MoCast. Except on the MoCast. With Riley or in and like Mo a Diggity. bunch of random discords, you can find me sometimes. Perfect. All right. You can find me on Twitter as Colochu54. Not Colochu because some stupid asshole still has Colochu and will not respond to my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> and Elon has not kicked them off yet, even though they're inactive since 2012. Now, you can find me on the YouTubes if you are already, if you haven't already been listening to this show on the YouTube at Kolochu. Uh, and if we do, we do have a playlist. So if you don't want to use Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you can go over to the YouTube channel at Kolochu, and you can. I have uh, video versions of all our episodes up there, uploaded every, at the same time as Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Uh, you can, if you want to support us, obviously, support yourselves. We're not a super big podcast, but everything is appreciated. You can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash detour ahead. Oh, man. This is this has been the Detour Ahead podcast show. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening. Do you have any anything else you want to say before I stop and I, and I hit this bear? No, thank thank you for having me.
glad to have you back. Hopefully, we'll see you in another in, a, in another what 50, 60 episodes, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, see. you next year. <laughs>